Hi, it's Peter Dennett here again. Um, hope you're uh, living free. This is now COVID-4, uh, COVID-04. Um, you know, if you're still not sure about all of this, well, let me just take a moment to, to unpack things a little bit again with you because I'm sure there's lots of questions that, uh, that go through your mind. But um, this could be the greatest day of your life. This today could be your freedom. This could be you out of lockdown spiritually, emotionally, and in life just to just to launch yourself into a new day. Do you know what? When I was in prison, they came to let me out. Uh, I'd got it written down in my diary that it was June the 10th, 1986. And that was what I was living towards. And as I said, I'd become a Christian four months before I was out. So I was already free in my heart and in my soul. But I was, you know, I was so looking forward to that freedom, that cell door coming open on the 10th of June. So on the, when they came to me on the 9th of June at six o'clock in the morning, banging on the door, did it release? I nearly said, hang on a minute, it's tomorrow. Idiot. So, you know, he, thankfully I got halfway through the statement, shut my mouth, picked up all my stuff and ran down the corridor after the prison officer so that I could get out. All I'm saying to you is if the prison door is open, please don't stay locked in your cell. Don't stay locked in the emotional sense of feelings and, and the mess that we, uh, that we, you know, we get ourselves into. Last time we were looking at how God sees us. So stop seeing yourself as something less than he does. He sees you as a human being, somebody who loves, not a human doing, the stuff that you do. You know, the judgment is, do uh, is, is done. We said that in the first video, judgment is done dealt with in Christ Jesus so God looks at you he wants to be your father he wants to love you so just open your heart and allow God to come to you and and you know you are his treasure he's invested so much in you so please just open your heart today I was talking to a builder today uh, sorry this week I'm doing loads of building out in my garden uh, and I was talking to him about Jesus and you know he said well, I heard from a Christian once that all homosexuals and drug takers are going to, are going to hell. Now, I'm sorry, I, 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 can't, I can't speak for all Christians. All I can speak for is myself. Now, I'm an ex-con uh, who's been in prison for violence, and there is no way I can point at anybody and say, you deserve hell. No way I can do that. I believe that God doesn't do that. Do you know what the, the word for accuser in the Bible is? The one who accuses us? Satan. Satan. So why on earth would I do Satan's job? Why, why on earth would I spend all my time judging everybody? But this whole world at the moment seems to be bent on, on judgment. You know, we watch X Factor and all of these things and we read magazines and people have got anorexia because they're, you know, their image is wrong. They're too fat or they're, they're not beautiful enough. They're having all sorts of things done to their faces and their bodies and bits cut off here and stuck on here and crazy stuff about image and then money if you haven't got enough money how big's your house how big's your car it's ridiculous judgments all around us you know and fame can you sing can you can you dance can you be amazing for us judges all we want to hear is you've got four yeses you've got four yeses how ridiculous is this life it's crazy stop judging yourself stop living under the judgments of others it's not about judgment. The Bible says that the law is done. It's dealt with. He said the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and strength and your neighbour as yourself. That's all we've got to do. Open our hearts, love God and love our fellow man. That's the requirement on us. It's not to be a human doing not to spend our life trying to achieve. This is why I don't like religion. It tells you how many steps you've got to do to get to God. He's desperate for you. Jesus said he came to seek and save that which is lost. So he's the seeker. We don't even have to go chasing after him. He has come to us to bring us life and to set us free. You know, we need to move away from judgments. And, you know, there was a woman in the Bible that was going to be killed because she would, she'd done something that deserved under the law murder by stoning, uh, you know, killed by stoning. And Jesus just said, OK, under the law, you're right. She, she deserves death. But let me just say, you 
who is without sin, you who's never sinned, you throw the first stone, you throw the first stone. And they all drop them. Because in the words of an old lady that used to be in my church, Bunny, she said, Pastor, ain't we all horrible? You know, we've all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. And God loves us just as we are. He knows us. He knows us inside and out. He knows everything about us. And the greatest commandment that God gives us is just to love one another. Love him and love one another. God loves you just as you are. In fact, he loves you so much that he would rather die than live without you. That's what the cross is. God looking down, loving the world so much that he would rather die than live without you. And he came and he died and he took all the punishment and he fulfilled all righteousness. He filled it all. He did it all so we don't have to do it. All we have to do is know him. It's not about what you do in this life. It's who you know. Do you know Jesus? Do you know him? So that's what this week is about. Get in out of judgments. Be the friend you want, will you? Stop judging. Stop having a go. Stop constantly pointing at everybody and doing the devil's job. Be the friend you want. Do you want a friend that accuses you, that judges you, that spends time picking you apart and saying what's wrong about you, how ugly you are, how fat you are? For goodness sake, you want a friend who says, I love you. You know, I'm here for you. I, I think you're wonderful. I think you're beautiful. I love you. That's the friend you want. Let's start being that friend. And I believe the only way to truly be free enough to love everybody, to, to, to embrace everybody, to embrace even those that don't deserve embracing, is to know the love of God, is to know the forgiveness of God ourselves, and then just to let it flow to others. So I'd ask you again, are you free? Right now you can be free through this lockdown. Let's stop being locked down by others' opinions and our own judgments on our own performance. Let's stop being in that lockdown. And even though we're soon to be, according to Boris, out of this lockdown, you can be free right now. Free indeed. Free, freer than you've ever been in your whole life being able to be alive in your hearts, not constantly living under the, the, the pressure of this life. God loves you. Will you pray with me? Will you open your heart and just receive the love of God into your heart? Father, thank you that you don't look at me with judgment anymore. I long to be free of the judgments of others' as opinions and even my own stupid self-criticism I believe you died for me to show me how much you love me you suffered so I could be free from suffering and judgment you rose from the dead proving you have the power to give me life and you're here with me right now I don't want to live by judgments anymore Forgive me as I forgive others. Fill me to overflowing with your love. Be my Lord and my Father. Help me to live free with you and to do your will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just take a moment to receive from God. Let him wash away all of those horrible words that have been said about you, to you, by others. Things that you've said about yourself that you're worthless. Jesus died to show you how worthy you are, how much he loves you. That's how much you're worth. Stop judging yourself. Receive fullness of God. Day by day you get the opportunity to live free or to live by judgments and I pray that you will live free in Jesus name. Please get in touch with us. 
let us know what you think about this video, what you think about the other videos, what you think about all that God is doing in your life. It would be great to hear of the good news of what Jesus is doing in your life. New Life Worthing is the place to be. God bless you.